Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's Akira here, and today I'm going to be going over a list of Adobe alternatives that I personally use. Starting off with what I mentioned briefly in my previous video, let's talk about what I use instead of Photoshop. I use Krita for drawing in both RGB and CMYK colours. In case you don't know the difference between those, RGB has colours that can only exist in the realm of digital art, where the CMYK colours has colours that you can print onto just about anything physically. I use GIMP for editing my RGB works, but unfortunately GIMP doesn't have CMYK. So to make up for that, I've been using a free trial of the Affinity Suite, and Affinity Photo does the trick just swimmingly. I have also used a free trial of Clip Studio Paint, and I would say that this is also a very good alternative to Photoshop for both illustration and photo editing. In fact, some anime animation studios use Clip Studio Paint for TV shows, so it really does have a lot to offer. Krita and GIMP are completely free, and Affinity is a one-time purchase of $274.99 AUD. And Clip Studio Paint gives you the option to either have a 74 AUD or 324 AUD one-time purchase for their software, depending on the kind of Clip Studio Paint you buy, or a subscription-based model, which I had difficulty finding out which one that was. The subscription-based model will constantly stay up to date, whilst the one-time purchase will only have what's in the version you bought. Personally, I plan on getting the one-time purchase of Clip Studio Paint, as I don't really need anything more than what's already on there, and I also plan on eventually getting the Affinity Suite as well. Now for some honourable mentions as alternatives to Photoshop. Paint Tool Sai and Fire Alpaca. Paint Tool Sai is about $50 USD, and Fire Alpaca is completely free. <laughs> The next software that I have replaced is Adobe Illustrator. I used to use it for designing enamel pins, however now I use Inkscape instead. Inkscape has all the features I need, so for me there's no loss, and it's also completely free. I will also mention that Clip Studio Paint has a vector option, so you can design products in Clip Studio Paint as well. In case you'd like to know what a vector-based image is, it's basically a drawing that will never lose its quality regardless of how much you scale it. Most drawing programs like Photoshop, Krita, and the default of Clip Studio Paint use raster, basically meaning the pixels that you use in the image will only ever be that amount, so if you rescale it, you may lose some quality. I will also just quickly go off script here and say that Krita does have a vector part of it, but um, I've tried it and it's a bit confusing. Maybe you can use it well, but I don't know how to. <laughs> I will also mention that Affinity Designer is an easy replacement of Illustrator, so once again, the Affinity Suite is certainly something to look into. <laughs> Moving on to my next replacement for Adobe is DaVinci Resolve to both replace Premiere Pro and After Effects in one swoop. The editing portion of DaVinci Resolve replaces Premiere Pro and the Fusion portion of it replaces After Effects. There are two versions of DaVinci Resolve, one being completely free and the other being 495 AUD one-time purchase. I currently use the free version and it works just fine for my YouTube videos. However, if I wanted to make a movie or show, which I definitely do, then I will eventually have to save up for a more powerful version of it. I would also like to mention that for a while I was using HitFilm Pro instead of Premiere Pro. It works just fine as an editing software, but it can't replace After Effects like DaVinci can. So if you only need an editing software, you could go either way. HitFilm has a free creator and pro subscription options. I'm unsure of what currency it's in, but my best guess is that it would be USD. Now whilst that's all I need to say on my replacements for Adobe, I'd also like to talk about other softwares I use in general. So, without further ado, I use a free software called Audacity for recording my voice. I use OBS Studio for recording my screen and live streaming, and it's also completely free. I use DVD Video Soft for downloading music from YouTube. It has a free version, although it's purposely slow. Its one-time paid version is 39 USD, and its one-year version is 19 USD. You're better off just doing the one-time purchase, but that's just my opinion. I use Toon Boom Harmony for animation. There are three versions of it. 
Essentials being $28.50 USD, Advanced being $71 USD, and Premium being $129.50 USD a month. There are also perpetual licenses that cost $464.50 USD for Essentials, $1,186.50 USD for Advanced, and $2,406.50 for Premium. It is quite expensive, but in my opinion, nothing comes close to Toon Boom Harmony for animation. I use VideoTube Mini for my PNG Tuba model. VideoTube Mini is completely free. And whilst I haven't touched it for a while, I use Blender for 3D modeling. Blender is also completely free. That's all I have for now. I'm sure there are plenty of other Adobe alternatives out there that could have been listed. However, these are all the softwares that I have tried or have knowledge on and can recommend in good faith. With that all said, this concludes the end of my video. If you found this video enjoyable or informative, then please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. I typically make speed paints and art related commentary videos. Also, if you like my artwork and want to buy a pin or print or just support me, I have an Etsy, imprint, Patreon, and artistry. With all that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.